Hey guys, this is Chris Dufour. Thank you for allowing our elective students to come into your room. Today's uh, artist study is going to be Van Gogh. And so many of you guys have probably heard of the name Van Gogh. He's pretty famous for Starry Night, which is pictured. Um, before we talk about today's activity, I'd like to share with you a little about his life. So Van Gogh was uh, born in 1853 and died in 1890. Um, Obviously, he's no longer alive. And one of the things you guys probably are starting to notice is that most of these artists uh, become famous after their death. It's sad because um, artists really don't get recognized until, you know, sometimes many, many years after their death. So what, I, what I'd like to do is, and once again, now share with you um, some information about Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh was born over 163 years ago. When he was 15, Van Gogh began selling art to make money. Van Gogh is one of the most famous artists of all time. When Van Gogh got older, he went to art school. He painted everyday items like his bedroom, a pair of shoes, and people he knew. He used bright paint and painted little dashes within his paintings. He became very famous for painting this way. Van Gogh painted a lot of paintings of himself. This style of painting is called self-portraits. He painted over 40 paintings of himself. Here are a few examples. Van Gogh was sad and he painted a lot to make himself feel better. He loved painting pictures of the outside called landscape paintings. He painted many paintings such as haystacks, a bridge at nighttime, a farm, a restaurant in the city, and Starry Night, Van Gogh's most famous painting. Van Gogh also painted many beautiful paintings of flowers. Here are several of his famous paintings of flowers and vases. His artwork was so special and loved all over the world. This is the project we'll be working on today. But before we begin, let's discuss color and texture, which is evident in Van Gogh's work. So today we'll be using watercolor. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you with regards to water is um, when using water, with a watercolor palette. Um, the more water you, you use, the lighter the color appears. So less water makes the, the color more distinct. So we'll, we will not get into the three uh, characteristics of color, but once again, um, when you start experimenting with watercolor, uh, the paint, you'll realize that a, a lesser amount of water will make the color darker. Next, we're going to talk about texture. So Van Gogh was really um, a tactful artist when it came to texture. You'll see from his brush strokes, he makes things look a certain way by the way that he um, applies the paint. And so when we talk about texture, think of texture as kind of like it appears to be uh, rough or soft. And he's actually doing this uh, with the way that he applies the paint onto a canvas. So today we're going to do a Van Gogh vase activity. The materials we'll need are, are a pencil, paper, Sharpie, watercolor palette, paintbrush, cup, and water. So first step, unfortunately the, the sample you can see here is a little light. Uh, step number one is to sketch a vase and flowers with a pencil. So at the end of this PowerPoint, there'll be a couple uh, images of flowers. Use this, use your imagination of what a vase looks like. It's kind of like a cup and people place flowers in those. You're going to use your imagination and create a sketch. Using a pencil, lightly sketch out a vase with flowers in it. Next, you're going to then grab a Sharpie and outline your sketch. Be really careful. Uh, Sharpies are permanent. And so this is kind of creating a bold line uh, in your artwork. It, it's going to stand out, which will then allow you to paint within the objects. Last but not least, you will use watercolor palette, brush, and water to create your masterpiece. Uh, one of the things I really want you to experiment with is using uh, a small amount of water and then at other times using a lot of water and seeing how the color um, reaches the the canvas or the paper and how it how it looks dark with not a, a whole lot of water and then you can lighten it up by adding additional water to your brush so as you can see uh here are uh, two different types of flowers a daisy and a and a sunflower 
Um, these were flowers that were often painted or used in Van Gogh's uh, artwork. Please use these images. Um, you may now pass out a paper to each student, a pencil, and then slowly start passing out the Sharpies when the students are finished with their sketch and then a, allowing students to begin uh, painting with watercolor. Enjoy the time. And once again, uh, hopefully you have a blast learning about Van Gogh and copying his style. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.